This is Travel Tuesdays. Every Tuesday, we present you with another incredible country. Today, we're looking at 15 things you didn't know about Qatar. Welcome to ALUX.com, the place where future billionaires come to get informed. Hello Aluxers and welcome to another original video brought to you by Alux.com. In this video, we're going to discover 15 lesser known facts about Qatar. Qatar is a small state located on the Qatar Peninsula in Western Asia. It was founded in the early 1900s by Sheikh Jassim bin Mohammed Al Thani and it's been ruled by the House of Thani ever since. There are still arguments about whether the state should be officially considered a monarchy or a democracy. Qatar was owned by the British for many years before it became an independent country in 1971. It's bordered to the south by Saudi Arabia, and its only other neighbor is the Persian Gulf. It's a country of great wealth thanks to its considerable natural gas and oil reserves that are the third largest in the world. By 2017, the state of Qatar was home to some 2.6 million people. But with all that said, let's just dive in and take a closer look at the 15 things you didn't know about Qatar. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. Number 1. The main meal of the day in Qatar is eaten at lunchtime. It's often said that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Well, not in Qatar. Their main meal is served at lunchtime. Traditionally, the biggest meal is served at Friday midday after prayers. It's viewed as a chance for the whole family to come together and share. During most meals, like this one, cutlery is not often used. Bread is used to scoop up the food. It's customary to serve karak tea after every meal. Karak tea is prepared with milk and cardamom. And be sure to try their makbus. It's a traditional dish enjoyed by many Qataris. In most cases, it's made from a rich stew of meat and rice. Occasionally, it's made from rice and seafood. Number 2. Qatar is home to the ninth largest airport in the world. Hamad International Airport is located in Doha, the capital of Qatar. It was officially opened in 2014 following the closure of the old airport and it covers a total area of 5,500 acres. The airport handles close to 50 million passengers annually. This makes the airport the second largest in the region after Dubai. The airport designers went with an oasis theme, so most of the buildings are adorned with water motifs and desert plants growing on the roofs. It cost a staggering $17 billion to build. It also has one of the longest runways in the world, with a total length of 15,910 feet. Number 3. Qatar has some of the lowest gas prices in the world. Qatar is one of the world's leading producers of liquid petroleum gas, so Qatari citizens enjoy some of the world's lowest gasoline prices. As of January 2018, the cost of a liter of gasoline was 57 cents, which is a little under $2 per gallon. This is almost half of what a liter of diesel costs in the USA. While it's true that most countries access petroleum at the same international prices since governments influence the price through taxation, the government of Qatar offers subsidies to allow its citizens to pay very little to drive their cars. Number 4. Qatar has a very strict dress code. Qatar is a predominantly Muslim nation with a very strict dress code. Men usually wear a thub. This is a long white shirt worn over cotton trousers. The females wear a black cloak known as an abaya. Even tourists are expected to respect the dress code. For instance, female tourists are not expected to be walking around in miniskirts. The rules apply even when you're sunbathing. In fact, tourists are advised to at the very least wear a long t-shirt over their swimsuit. Number 5. Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani is the richest man in Qatar. Today, Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa is estimated to have a net worth of $800 million. He acquired most of his wealth while he served as the Minister of the Interior. This position gave him power to decide on the economic activities of the state. 
Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa was born January 1, 1952. Unknown to many, his mother died soon after giving birth to him, and he was actually raised by his uncle. In 1995, he seized power from his father when his father traveled to Geneva. He later froze his bank accounts to prevent any retaliation. His father was finally allowed back into Qatar in 2004. Apart from oil, he earns money from a South African company called Afrodial. He also has previously attempted to buy several football clubs, like Manchester United and Rangers FC. Number 6. Saudi Arabia Once Invaded Qatar Qatar has always been in constant fear of attack from its neighbors. Bahrain and Qatar were initially under the control of the Portuguese from the early 1520s. Later, they were forced out by the Ottomans. As a result of the ever-present conflict, Qatar was led by a series of temporary sheikhs. In 1787, a Saudi general by the name of Sulaiman Ufaisan led an attack against Qatar that resulted in the loss of life and displacement as locals left the country fearing for their safety. In the recent past, there were talks that Saudi Arabia and the UAE had planned to invade Qatar yet again. Number 7. Its former prime minister was named in the Panama Papers leak. The Panama Papers produced damning evidence implicating the former Qatari Prime Minister, Hamadi bin Jassim. It's alleged that while he was the Prime Minister, he engaged in questionable deals and transactions. It was discovered that he owned a company in the Virgin Islands and other companies in the Bahamas. Through these companies, he was able to acquire shares that greatly increased his wealth. He even bought himself a private yacht at the cost of $300 million. Other offshore companies were also found to be in his name. It's still unclear just how much wealth he amassed fraudulently while he was in office. Number 8. Qatar had a serious diplomatic crisis in 2017. This diplomatic fallout began in June 2017, when out of nowhere some major players in the UAE cut off ties with Qatar. This effectively meant that Qatar could not conduct business with its neighbors. These countries, who are members of the Gulf Cooperation Council, cited Qatari's alleged support for terrorists as their main reason. In response, Qatar turned to Iran and Turkey to mitigate any shortages this caused. Qatar later announced they would fully reinstate Iran as a trade partner. In April 2017, Qatar was involved in negotiations to release 26 of Iran's nationals who had been kept in captivity for close to 16 months. Shiite militants received $700 million to release the hostages. Number 9. Qatar is one of the safest countries in the world. According to Global Crime Index statistics, Qatar has the lowest crime rates in the Middle East. In addition, it was ranked seventh globally in the same category. This is an indication of the strict security apparatus put in place to curb crime in the region. This is a great achievement considering that other superpowers like the US and the UK ranked 72 and 63 respectively. As far as natural disasters go, Qatar is the safest country on the planet. The report took into account things like the likelihood of such an event occurring and the level of preparation. Number 10. Qatar is the richest country on the planet. Results released by the International Monetary Fund ranked Qatar as the richest country in the world. The country has a population of about 2.3 million people, but it boasts $125,000 US per capita, with this number expected to climb even higher in the coming years. Most of its wealth comes from the sale of petroleum, even though it's also known to be home to some of the best airlines. Despite its turbulent past and the ongoing diplomatic crisis in the area, there's no stopping this desert state. One sign of its wealth is the skyline that's littered with some of the tallest buildings in the world. If you want to check out another rich location not too far from Qatar, click in the upper right-hand corner to watch our video, The 15 Things You Didn't Know About Dubai. Number 11. In Qatar, women are still discriminated against. Although today women are allowed to attend colleges and work, the country is still included among the top five biggest pay gap countries in the world. The colleges that women attend are still segregated from men. Practices that have been done away with in most cultures like arranged marriages still happen in Qatar. 
The political class is still heavily dominated by men, and the country may be ranked first in terms of wealth, but its treatment of women leaves very much to be desired. Number 12. Qatar will host the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Qatar was awarded the opportunity to host the World Cup tournament by FIFA in 2010. This country has been hard at work rebuilding its stadiums in preparation for the event. However, there has been a lot of widespread dissatisfaction with the way the migrant workers have been treated. Several stakeholders have also expressed concerns over the very high temperatures that players and fans will have to endure. It's the first Arab country to be chosen by the FIFA committee for this honor. Number 13. In Qatar, it's a cultural faux pas to admire someone's property. Openly admiring another person is not acceptable in Qatar and not for the reason that you think. In Qatari culture, if you admire something, the owner is obligated to give you that thing or something better as a gift. It's quite natural for most of us to marvel at something beautiful like a home or the rims of a car. If you do that in Qatar, tradition states the owner should give you that house or something similar. This rule also extends to people since women are still considered property, so it is essential not to admire another man's wife. Number 14. Censorship is still very prevalent in Qatar. The government still regulates internet access in most of the country, where websites that they deem offensive or inappropriate are blocked. Most mainstream media outlets in the country steer clear of any news that will be viewed as controversial. Publishing anything that remotely criticizes the ruling class results in persecution. Since the country was awarded the chance to host the World Cup, Qatar has tightened its grips on the media, which is probably in an attempt to hide the inhumane treatment of workers. Number 15. In Qatar, the cost of renting is insane. For those who dream of one day moving permanently to Qatar and renting out a modest apartment, it's time to start saving. The cost of property in Qatar is through the roof. A one-bedroom apartment goes for an average of $1,900 every month. Understandably, the cost of properties is so high due to limited land. Most of the land was reclaimed from the sea. With the population increasing, these prices are only expected to climb higher in the coming years. And there you have it, Aluxers. 15 things you didn't know about Qatar. Now you know we're curious. We'd love to know, would you be willing to visit Qatar even with the strict dress code, sexism, and ethical violations? Let us know what you think in the comments. Now that you've made it all the way through the video and stuck with us until the end, you know you get a bonus. Here it is. Number 16. There's a one female for every three males in Qatar. According to 2015 statistics, for every three males in Qatar, there is one female. It is for this reason that girls generally get engaged young. The ratio is thought to be so bad because a majority of the males are male migrants who left their families in surrounding countries to seek greener pastures. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy, or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury enthusiasts in the world and tell your story.